Hi guys, so this training video, I'm just gonna show you how you can take your leads or your customers and create a lookalike audience within Facebook. So this is for retargeting, so you can tell Facebook you want to find people who are similar to your leads or customers. So if you are still using Elite Marketing Pro to track your leads in terms of you haven't taken over your list there yet, then I'm gonna show you how you can do that from Elite Marketing Pro. So obviously this is your back office. So if you head over to the My Money and then we'll start with leads because that's probably gonna be the biggest pot that you're going to be able to do this with. You need to have a list kind of big enough that will let Facebook do the job that you want it to do. So obviously if you have loads and loads of commissions, brilliant. You can go ahead and do this. It will be the same, the same way. So we've got our list of prospects. So you just need to take um, the list and export it. Now, if you want to have within, um, you know, if you have, you know, thousands and thousands of leads, then you might want you could, to take maybe the last 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever you want to do. So it's the most relevant. But for now, I'm just going to take my whole list and export it. So this will then download a file, which we can then just kind of sort out and then we can import it into Facebook. So I'm going to open up this file now, which is going to be a Excel file. So I've got my complete list here with um, all of my leads. Now, if you're going to be doing just AMF, for example, you might want to filter out anything else. Um, or if you're doing social media recruiter, then you know you can go ahead and do that. So what I would do is just delete these rows. So you've just got this header row, and then you can add a filter onto it. Um, so then you can filter by things. So you can then filter by all of these different um, elements here if you want to. But I think for our purposes, what we need here, we can just use them all. So basically, you can now just save that as a file and then you can import that into Facebook. So just save it wherever you want to. And I'm just going to call this EMP leads um, for lookalike, just so I know what it's for. So you can call it whatever you want. So you need to change the format of your file to be CSV, which means comma separated value. So you just choose that and then we'll hit save. <clears throat> Uh, so I've just had a little pop up that says some features may, may not um, will be removed. So that's fine. Just hit continue. And that's done. OK. OK. So if you're going to be taking your leads from your own autoresponder. So if you're using Aweber or I use GetResponse, then I'm just going to show you how you can export your leads from your autoresponder yourself. Obviously, I don't have Aweber, so I'm not going to be able to show you that. But it was probably going to be fairly similar or any of you that are using GetResponse, then you'll know how to do it. So if you go over to contacts and then go to search, so I've got here all of my different lists. So obviously select the list that you want. So I um, kind of move everybody once they've gone through the bootcamp to a um, newsletter list. So we'll choose that one as well as, let's choose my bootcamp list as well, hit apply. And then basically you just want to select all of them. So in get response, you just hit that little checkbox and then do select all 608 contacts. And then over here on the right, these three little buttons, you've then got an export. So if you click on export, then again, you can give it a file name just like we did with the other one. Choose your CSV file name. So um, I'll call this my leads. test uh csv why does it not like that just do leads for now and then you just export that file so you can see now it says contacts exported there's this thing down here which should then be uh oh here it is yeah, so then it becomes here. So then you can just download that from your get response. And then you can just go through the different motions that I'm going to show you in Facebook 
in a second. So that's how you do it from get response. Unfortunately, I don't have a Weber, so I can't show you that, but I'm sure it's something similar. There will be some kind of export functionality within that. Just remember to uh, export it as a CSV file and then you'll be good to go. So next I'll be showing you how to use Facebook. Okay, so now if we go to Facebook, um, so we want to go to Facebook and then we want to go to the ads manager and specifically the audiences. So we will go to, let's wait for it to load. It's always a bit slow when you're sharing your screen. Okay, so we'll go down to adverts. And then we want audiences. So actually I'm going to go into my business manager first, just so I get the right business account. And we want this one. Okay, so we will change this to be from adverts manager to audiences. If you don't have that in your list, then just go to all tools. And then over here on the right, you have audiences. Okay, so now we have our audiences page. So you can see here that I've got a few different ones. So down here, I've created three different lookalike audiences. So we have got one to two percent, uh, two to five percent, and then uh, one percent, I think that is. So basically, all you need to do is go create audience, and then from the drop down, you choose lookalike audience. Is that done with me? Yeah. So then, uh, so it tells you here, so find new people on Facebook who are similar to your existing, existing audiences. So your source is, um, so it says here, choose a custom audience or a page. Um, so let's just, so this would be if you want to um, choose anything so if you've got maybe website visitors then you'd be able to do that from here but let's just go to create new and then custom audience so we have got a customer file so this is what um so you can do for whether you have a, a list of leads or a list of customers so then we've got add customer for your own file so we're going to do that one so now it basically, and it's really simple, it gives you step by step with what you want to do. So it says prepare a file with your custom data. So we want um, email address. Actually, let's do upload file first. And I think it then populates um, the different fields that you want. So we've got our CSV file that we saved earlier. Click open. So, and then you can obviously call it, um, give it a name that's going to then appear in your audiences. So I think I named mine, um, you know, lookalike for uh, leads and then I put the month just so I know, obviously if I do it again and update it in maybe three months, I might put the month of that. But this was just my, my very first one. Um, so I'm going to, I can't remember what I Maybe I need to do that, I'm not sure. So let's choose next and then see what happens. Here we go. So, um, so this is then, this is kind of picks up and it will automatically sort of look at what your different fields are that you need. So I'm gonna definitely need email address. You can have phone number if you want. It's pretty much the only, you might wanna have the name, but obviously some people will only give their first name. So it's probably really only the, the email address and then potentially the phone number that you want to do that. So we'll just keep those two and it's automatically kind of chosen the field that's recognized by Facebook. So then we'll just click upload and create. Um, there are still three unmapped identities in your file. Finish mapping the data to improve the match rate. Okay, let's go back and see. So let's put that as first name then and just see. Okay, 
Now let's try that. Okay, so now it's just uploading that file and it's all done really, really quickly. So you can see here now we've got 898 rows uploaded. Um, so that's our custom audience. So now you can create a lookalike audience. And then here is then, so now you can see the source has taken our audience that we've just created. So then location, you can then a bit like when you're setting up your advert, you can choose which countries you want. So obviously you only want to have lookalike people from the countries that you'd normally advertise to. So those kind of English speaking countries, then go ahead and put those countries in there. So let's just do that now. So UK, which will see where I'm from. Got United, oh, don't even know what that says. United States, Canada, we'll just leave that for now. Um, so audience size, so this is where you kind of want to create three. So the trainings and things that I've seen about how to create lookalike audiences. So 1% is going to be, the, so it says down here, um, so based on 1%, this means you're always going to get the strongest match, but the distribution of people may not be equal across different, across all countries. Um, if you go to then 2%, um, so this then, you know, it's slightly a higher reach. So you can see there you've got nearly five and a half million. So it's still a fairly good match, but it's, so basically the scale, the higher you go, the wider and the broader the audience. So it means it's going to be less, um, less specifically matched to you. So create one. I think I've got, so I've got 1%. You can see that's 2.7 million. So that's a good size. I think if you're doing an ad, so we're going to create that one. Um, yeah, so I've got 1%. I've got, um, are those the same? No, they're not. So I've got one to 2% and then I've got two to five. So yeah, kind of go up to five um, with what you want to do. I'm just going to kind of check whether that is. Uh, yeah. So then once you've got those, then in terms of creating an advert, you know, um, so it will populate and it will obviously give you the numbers here. So obviously 8 million people, that's a massive audience to run an advert to. You're better off using one of these small ones. So I said, stick with that 1%, first of all, um, and then you can go and create an ad like normal. And then when it comes to the audience, you can then go and find that um, audience. So I'll just show you that quickly. But so far, I've been running mine just for a few days and it's had really good statistics, really good metrics so far, which is really good. Um, right. So we'll just create a quick test ad just so you can see um, what it is that you want to do. So we'll do. Um, we'll do traffic for now so you can do conversion, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to call this test. So um, then, so here where you've got audience. So now oh, we've got custom audiences. So you can see here now you've got a lookalike audience. So now we can, we know, okay, ones which we've chosen. Um, so I've created ones for my leads. I've got ones for people who, who, who like my business page. So you can create those ones as well. So which was the one we just, it was this one, wasn't it? So EMP leads for lookalike. So that will be our audience. It's already got our countries in there. If you want to then specify the ages, you can do that the same with gender and then um, just leave the rest as it is. Um, if you want to add some specific interest, but that's the whole point of doing the lookalike audience is it's, it's going to be able to do it for you. So it might reach more people with different interests that you might not have thought of. And then you just go through the rest of the ad as normal um, that you've done before, set it up and you're good to go. So hopefully that's helped to say I've just set up my, my, my first one. So we'll see how it goes so far. So good. I'll try out some different ones. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. Cheers, bye.